So as you can see, we're back at the data plate here, located on the lower side of each compressor, usually on the left-hand side as you look at the compressor. And on the data plate, we see it says max allowable working pressure, and then there is a stamped value, 8.6 bar on this particular machine. That's the maximum pressure that this machine can work to safely. We have the normal working pressure, which if you're not sure how to set it, set it at the normal working pressure. This is 6.9 bar. So now that we've seen what the nominal and maximum pressure is on the data plate, we can adjust the adjuster here, the regulator. So we undo the nut, which stops it from vibrating loose, put the Allen key in the top, and we give little adjustments like that. So when we unscrew it, that will reduce the pressure, and when we tighten it, that will increase the pressure. So we do a little movement, and then we'll go and check the gauge on the front. So if we want to hit seven bar, and say it's at six bar, we'll do a little tighten, then we'll go and check the gauge, do a little bit more, check the gauge, and then just a little bit more. And once we've got it seven bar, we can lock it down like that, just a little nip, and we open and close the air outlet valve and then see if it settles back at seven bar.